Hi guys, this is the Bold and the Beautiful review. Hello. It might be a long review because I have a lot to say, so forgive me. <laughs> um, of course, we're gonna start with um, the Steffi drama because, um, well, the Steffi Quinn drama because there's so much to say. There's there's so much. Okay, and um, of course, I'm gonna be talking about Christmas. It's really a review, but I need to go back to the episodes the last week's episodes because oh I got upset okay when I watched those um so before Steffi accepts the CEO position she had a talk with Liam and that really upset me because I did not like the way she responded the way her answers um when Liam said, how about we start our own fashion line, our own fashion company, you know, how about we do our own thing, okay? We leave Florida Creations behind. And her response was, oh, boy, don't you understand, like, how many years it took my grandfather to reach that level, okay? He, um, for, before Forrester Creations was Forrester Creations, it took way like a lot of effort a lot of time a lot of energy and i mean starting over is just not possible i hated that answer i felt like it was i, I was i was a bit confused because i felt like who is this girl she is not steffi because steffi wouldn't say that kind of ish okay that is so not her i mean like i thought she was an ambitious woman I thought she tried to have her own thing to be an independent woman I, what is this okay has she said to Liam you know what this is my company this company has my name on it this is Forrester I'm a Forrester I can't see myself giving up something that is mine I can't I can't do this okay that belonged to my grandmother d d um, I can't let it go I would have been you know what I understand your point girl but saying oh my god it takes too much time when you have the resources that your grandfather did not didn't have you know you have the money you you have the followers okay I got 10 millions of followers well actually at the time I think it was 1 million but either way you started with something you're you're starting with something your grandfather had zero nada okay he only had a talent and a dream and luckily he you know made sure that stephanie girl fell in love <laughs> um so he got a rich bitch to help him but you you don't need that you have your own things you have your own money and why can't you i, I don't know they're, they're, what she said kind of threw me off and I did not like it because I was like ain't you supposed to be an ambitious woman like you're letting me down okay and then of course she got to the office and Eric was just like so what's the decision because I mean you, you either you can be the CEO or my wife is going to be the CEO okay so I'm not mad at Steffi for saying yes to the CEO position because I mean it's an amazing opportunity and why would she pass it for her daddy who has been CEO like 400 times or for Rick who she doesn't really care too much about like why would she pass up that opportunity and segundo well I'm sorry Eric is gonna put Quinn as the CEO so this is really gonna be bad for the company and for the foresters you know like of course she's gonna try to piss them off or you know it, it, she's gonna make decisions that they don't like so Steffi had to be the CEO I'm, I'm happy that she said yes I just feel like she is letting her guard down a little bit and it's not a good thing and I, I kind of feel like Quinn and Wyatt they're so smart okay because they tell Steffi you're so cute you're so pretty and you're so smart and you are the best thing that this family has and you are so great they compliment her they pet her like a dog mm -hmm. you're so cute mm -hmm. you're so cute and then you see Steffi is like oh my god they say I'm good and I'm great 
I'm amazing. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she's like, you know what? Quinn is not that bad. Wyatt, he's a lovely man. And maybe he is better than Liam, okay? And you have Wyatt, of course, um, I think that happened last episode. I don't know. One or two episodes ago. And, um... He says something like, you know what, I'm not like Liam. I'll let you be yourself. And I'm just like, there's a difference between letting someone be herself and having an opinion of your own and being able to be like, uh, I think you're wrong on that one. I'm just like, Wyatt, you're so used to not having an opinion because you're chasing after a girl. But Liam is not used to that. He's, I mean, well, I can't really say that. But Liam has the right to have an opinion just like Steffi has the right to have an opinion. Like, you spent your... This year, basically, not having an opinion. Or trying to please your woman. And not getting anything back. She left you fast like that, okay? I'm sorry. Every time when Liam got back... Even when Liam went missing, okay? Was gone. She was crying about him. She cried, she cried, she couldn't move on. And then when you forced her to move on with you... She was still thinking about him, looking out the window. <gasps> Liam, where are you? Okay, and when she was on your chest, she was thinking of Liam, okay? Like, you were not getting her wet. She was thinking about Liam. That's why you saw the, the, the river between her legs, okay? Because she was thinking about your brother. That's just your reality, okay? And then when Liam got back, her heart heart was destroyed because like she was like oh my god I made a mistake and then every time she had to go back to you or try to get back with you because that was the right thing to do she was crushed she was crying she was upset she was not happy okay and removing she is not feeling I mean she removed the tattoo okay as soon as she was done with you she went to your brother no questions, no doubts, no, I may be, I need to be alone. I'm not too sure. I don't know about Liam. She went straight back to him. That should tell you something, honey. And um, I think that Steffi needs to be careful, okay? Not mixing business with pleasure, okay? Personal life. Um, like, Liam should not have been at the office, okay? Because um, I think what happened... Um, Oh, I need to go before that, okay? Before that, Liam went to um, Eric to talk and say, you know what, you're getting played by Quinn. This is all the way wrong. And Eric pretty much said, uh, I want my granddaughter to be with Wyatt because Wyatt is family now. And um, you have not been a good guy. I mean, you've played my granddaughter and you, you know all the women that I love okay you've played with hope we, you played with Steffi you played with Ivy uh you're not a you don't know how to commit and basically why it knows how to be faithful to one woman and to stay with one woman and you can't so bye boo I was upset <laughs> with that because I feel like Eric shouldn't be the one talking about this you don't know what you're talking about boy you just don't. Because uh, whatever Liam is doing, you've done worst. <laughs> you've done the worst. You've been with so many women, okay? And I find it really funny that when he's with Steffi, he's like, you know, you need to align your values with your behavior. And I was just like, first of all, do you know what are Steffi's values? I, like, I think you're mixing her up with Hope. Hope was the one who was like, oh, I got values and marriage is so important and I'm gonna stay a virgin and I can't do this and I can't do that. Steffi was never like that. She's the kind of girl who pursues somebody's boyfriend, somebody's fiance, somebody's husband. She doesn't care. She goes after what she wants. Her values is success. Um, yeah, she cares about family, but she's more about I want what I want, I get what I want. Okay, that's it. So I don't understand why he was talking to her about this and she was like I, he was like I believe in marriage and I believe in divorce I'm like mm -hmm, we sure do know and then Steffi got at him and be, and she was like well you I know you're feeling what I'm doing is wrong but you did it too my daddy did it too so I don't know 
why am I being judged? And Eric was like, you're just better than us. I, I did not like this. Because it's always like that. The woman has to be up there. And you guys can do whatever you want. Okay? And that reminded me of certain people that I've known in my life who are super religious. Especially guys. They're super religious. They fucked around. Okay? They've had girls. Many girls. They they can't count them anymore. Like, because it's like... I mean, uh, it's too many. Okay? And they still want the woman that they marry to be a virgin. You're like, really, boy? Really? Why? How? You're not a virgin, and you expect to have a virgin. Oh, but you know what? I'm a man, and you know, it's hard for a man. So, okay, you can be weak as fuck, but the girl has to be doing everything right by the book, or she gets rejected. Oh, okay, I see. No, I feel like it's completely unfair. Eric wants to keep on being this weak ass man and he wants his granddaughter to be doing what he wants. Actually he's man manipulating Steffi and Steffi has to realize this cause, because I'm, I'm feeling like girl are you stupid like how like I thought you were a strong smart woman what happened to you girl I want to know why are you being why this brain is not working what's going on you need to tell me what's up girl tell me talk to me girl because I, I i just don't get it she's being played by eric and quinn and your boyfriend is telling you that hey by the way your grandfather we had a talk and he told me that he's gonna make sure that you end up with my brother i'm just saying and actually i feel like Liam should have told Steffi that, hey, by the way, your grandfather, he wanted me to be, um, he wanted you to move in. He should have told Steffi that, that it shouldn't have been news. And I feel like at Christmas, nobody should have showed up, okay? I don't care if it's Christmas and it's, Christmas and it's time for family and to forget your problem. No, 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 no. Because that's what happens when you know that this holiday is just... You know that when it's Christmas, everybody's going to fake it and being be a hypocrite and lie and just smile and <laughs> be fake about it. Then you keep on doing what you're doing because you know what? At the end, they're going to forget it all about it. They're going to they're gonna forget it all. They're going to forget about um, what you've done to them. And they're going to smile and sing with you. I feel like Eric should have been alone for Christmas with his wife. And they should have all had... Um, Christmas the rest of the family should have had Christmas at Brooke's place and be happy I wish it was that the cute little scenes like no matter what we are family and we're gonna be together yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not so into that I mean it's fun but it's like at the, they need to be a, a Christmas where it's like no you fucked up so no we're not showing up and there's needs some consequences to your action Eric I just feel like you need to get something okay you need to get you need to hurt and to understand what you've done to your family they don't want to be at your house and I feel like Quinn is winning and I'm proud of her because she's doing the damn thing when you got a man doing what he's told without being told to do what he's told girl you're doing it okay you're, you're just that good okay i don't know what's going on between your legs because it it is good okay because eric you have shown yourself to be the weakest man i've ever known okay like there's something about you it's just and he's trying to play matchmaker and to manipulate um steffi and it's like this is like this is quinn influencing eric to be bad bad and I, like you cannot blame Quinn you cannot blame Quinn you have to blame Eric because he knew he is um he he made the those those decisions okay he decided to marry the woman without knowing her and he does he's deciding to kind of hurt his family and his company and it's time for him to get the consequences I'm I'm over him and did you guys notice how Thomas is not was not there Caroline was not there and Ivy was not there and it's there's no they did not give any reason for for um Ivy so I was just like 
why but i'm guessing she's gonna be um there for new year i'm hoping but uh i felt like that was weird so anyways everybody at christmas didn't want to go to the house they wanted to do their own thing because they wanted to try something new it was a lie because um Liam was just like, you can't expect me wanting to come to go over there when you told me, you're telling me that you want to destroy my relationship. And by the way, not just Eric was doing something, you know, the talking, but afterwards, um, Quinn had a chit chat with Liam. She, she, she told Eric, you need to go upstairs, go upstairs. And of course, <laughs> Eric did that. He went upstairs. And um, Quinn was like, Liam, listen to me. Your days are numbered with Steffi, okay? Your days are numbered. The, um, well, he, she did not say that. She said it in a way that it could be taken. It could be taken in two ways. It could have been like, I'm going to kill your ass soon. Are you going to disappear? Nobody going to find you. Or it could mean that, you know what, your relationship with Steffi is not going to last. It's about to be over. And we had Katie, who for some reason had to go to Eric's house and she started filming. And she was like, oh my god. And then um, she had a conversation with Brooke about it. And she was like, you know what? Um, <laughs> I think old Quinn is still alive, okay? It's inside. It's inside of Quinn, okay? The new Quinn. I know the body looks good, but inside, honey, hey, everybody better be scared. I'm scared. Um, and she was like, Brooke, I cannot go against Quinn like that because, of course, she's gonna find a, a good excuse and I'm gonna be out. So, what I need to do is play nice. I'm gonna play her game. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna smile. I'm gonna be like acting as if I'm her cheerleader and she's gonna love me and then I'm gonna mm, mm, get her. Get her. And I was like, see, Katie, that's what you needed to do. Okay? That's what you need to do. And Quinn. <sighs> Quinn, 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 Quinn. Ooh, the only way Quinn can be destroyed, destroyed is by her Quinn, Quinn is the only one that can destroy herself the only one and I think that right now there's two ways that she can destroy herself realizing that maybe she's not that happy with Eric or maybe she wants something else okay like the D ain't that good or it's good but I mean Bridges D can do so much better um, and um I feel like she kind of likes Ridge and it, he's younger and he's it's a different kind of relationship and he looks a bit like Bill to me and let's remember how it started she fell in love with Bill or she liked Bill whatever she had a good dee ding bum ba doom pop 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 with Bill and she had a son with him so she likes those kinds of men and let's be real a guy like Eric and a guy a guy like Ridge two comp they're different very different with Ridge, there's more passion, there's more excitement, and there's the love and hate thing. With with Eric, it's just so nice and so sweet and so romantic, and he does whatever you tell him to do, and more. It's not exciting. He, he, she's playing him, she's controlling him. It, 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 at some point, it gets tiring, and it gets it gets boring. And with Ridge, he knows what she is. And he's attracted to her and she's attracted to him and they're like this is I don't know I just feel like um, there's so much passion there's so they, they have chemistry they have that thing and it's really good and um, this is like maybe that's gonna be her downfall there's two ways either Katie is gonna play her and get her out and um, Rich could do the same Quinn is about to fuck herself and now uh, the last thing I want to say is um, I don't want Wyatt to lose I really want Wyatt to lose I don't mind if Quinn gets the company or fucks the foresters up because they deserve it you you guys played yourself especially Steffi trying to they compliment you and all of a sudden you're like oh maybe they're not so bad and um 
you you're forgetting who Quinn is and that's that's actually what I've told you guys that when you let somebody in or you you, you start thinking that maybe she's different and you start trying to open up to that person that's when that person is gonna stick it to you I'm telling you and that's Quinn knew it time was just her ally that time was her friend with time you spend time with her you you forced to spend time with her and she's showing you her good signs and then two three years later you get stabbed in the back okay your laundry your dirty laundry is out for the world to see and you're like oh how did that happen I can't believe she did that to me. I should have known better. Yeah, you should have known better. Okay. And um, Steffi and Wyatt. Wyatt. I under, okay. They, Wyatt and Liam had an issue over the social media thing. And I understand both of their points. Um, okay. So. Okay. So, so Wyatt wants Steffi to be Kim Kardashian basically okay he wants her to be out there take pictures and they want to vlog they want to like kind of doing what I do okay well I'm not vlogging I'm not showing you my life but they're blogging and doing that kind of stuff and when you add vlogging it's a lot okay the people want want to know more about you now okay you they want to know your life and that's what um why is suggesting that they do more of that and sexy CEO and I was just like you don't look serious okay and that's what um, Liam was thinking and he was just like you're just pimping my girl okay for the world to say okay you want the world to see her in a bikini all the goddamn time um, and she's gonna be um, people are gonna laugh at her the business world especially so I see both of their views, okay, their point of view, because I am YouTubing, what well, I'm not vlogging, but blogging. Um, I'm doing that stuff. I'm into the, I'm in the social media era, and I am doing this, um, this thing. Um, but Steffi doesn't have to do that. <laughs> She's already established. You know what I mean? She does. It's, it's. Like, there's no reason for her to do this. She has all the money of the world. She got two cars in her driveway and more. She has a motorcycle. She is richer than rich. And she can get those followers without giving up her life and her privacy. She can do that if she wants to. But as a CEO of a company, I find it very weird that all of a sudden you're on top. Technically, you're on top. You're in, uh, of the fashion industry. You're one of the elites. And here you are trying to go into vlogging and all of that stuff. So you need to be careful because you're supposed to be there. Okay? And um, and also you have to think about your privacy and um, do you want your life to be out there like that? Especially when you don't have to. Because she doesn't, okay? She has the money. She has um, the name, okay? She is, she is a forester. She doesn't have to do all of that. It's like Anna Wintour trying to go into reality TV. And um, you got to be careful. She could, but she has to be careful in the way she does it. That's for sure. You can't just be like, oh, let me flash and let me be, mm, uh, 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 and you're a CEO. Like, you have to choose. Do you want to be a model or a CEO? Like, this, this, this is one thing that actually bugged me. Um, is when when she was the the president, she was also modeling the intimates line, and I was like, you're a president or you. You're a model like your ass is out and you're a president like you're the president of a company and this is like the mix that I'm not sure if it's a good mix and you have to be careful because if people are looking at you it's not gonna be good for you okay and um, I understand both of their point of views because the world is changing our society is changing and it's really funny to hear them talk about oh my god I have followers I was just like okay <laughs> like I, I I need them to be careful with the social media and I get it y'all watch YouTube y'all you know on Twitter and everything I get it BNB and you're trying to be hip and um, 
make people understand that you're not in the 1980s you're in the 2000 you know that were 2016 17 I get it but uh, you need to be careful with that um, I, 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 yeah, I don't know okay I think that Steffi should be careful and um, also the thing that the, 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 going back to what um, Eric was telling her that be careful because you know you here you are with you're married and shacking up with a brother that doesn't look good I was just like excuse me how I'm, I mean you're shacking up with a woman who attempted to kill multiple people I'm gonna need you to calm down with your judgment and by the way if if it's that shameful of Steffi living with with Liam which I think I understand his point I just feel like excuse me but wasn't it shameful that she was engaged to one man and decided to get married with a brother it's already shameful though though from from the beginning she was she is the woman who took uh who actually had an affair or a relationship with um her stepsister's fiance she then married him divorced him remarried him and then got with his brother when he got missing he went missing so uh, i don't know i don't think she's looking bad i don't think she's looking bad for wanting to be with liam i think she's looking back bad because she actually married the brother okay so the right thing is getting a divorce and she doesn't have to move in your house okay she could live in a hotel she could go back to living at uh, thomas's place and actually uh, who nobody knows that she's she's living at liam's house who's gonna know like who's gonna know okay like i mean like one minute they have so many paparazzis they like the foresters the second they got none so i'm gonna need uh, consistency okay like are they really in the public eye or not because <laughs> um that's the same thing with caroline being scared oh my god what the people are gonna think that actually i'm pregnant with um my 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 husband's son um and well my husband's son son with my husband oh my god this is so complicated how like i've been with the father and the son and now i'm pregnant and the, the baby daddy is the son so i don't know you should have thought about it when you were getting married with this well first of all you were with thomas so you were with the son and then the uncle and then you went to the father so there's i mean why are you feeling like ooh, now it's bad the, these are the things that I'm just kind of not understanding and then we got last well actually the, this is I'm done after that it's um, Ridge and Quinn what there you go <laughs> Ridge seeing Quinn naked and Quinn I mean honestly she was flirting with him and Ridge baby boy I knew you liked it I know you did okay let's be honest okay you looked at her you're like mm -hmm, I love those boobies and I wish I could be inside between her legs like mm -hmm, it has to be nice okay and when she left you look behind you were like mm -hmm, she looks good okay so you appreciated that and then you went to talk to Rick and you were like mm -hmm, she flirted with me okay like I'm traumatized because I saw her naked mm -hmm, you liked it boy and then you're trying to make it seem as if she's the one flirting with you and you wanted no part of that but you stood there and you watched and you were not trying to get her a towel or anything and uh, both of you were willing participants okay in the flirtation okay let's be real and then finally you have someone who believed you when you said mm-hmm this girl flirting with me which is which is Liam Liam believed you and he actually is telling you what you were thinking you can use this in your advantage okay so you started flirting way more with her and uh, you were like you know what take this dress put this dress on and she did and she like twisted her ankle and now she's hurt and you gave her ice and all of a sudden like although this is one thing okay Quinn Quinn you really into this man okay because <laughs> because Ridge gave you an ice pack all of a sudden you're like <sighs> 
he really like he cared about me he was nice to me maybe he thinks that I've changed he saw someone getting hurt and he gave you eyes okay like like like, the, 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 like girl you need to chill and I love that Steffi told that to her grandfather like I mean it's common decency like I love Steffi for that one like yeah girl you're right it's common decency like you see someone getting hurt you might not like them but you're gonna call 911 if they need help you're gonna look for the ice okay and you're gonna give them water like common decency so I, I'm like mm, Quinn you, you like that boy and I really love how she got back to work and she had to see Reg mm -hmm. and she was flirting with him in front of Liam and I don't maybe she doesn't she didn't notice that she was flirting and that she's liking him because she's supposed to hate him so she's not realizing this but Liam was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rich go get her get her get her get her bye I'm gone I won't tell Steffi don't worry about it boy don't worry okay because I need to get that chick out of my life and I need to make sure that Steffi and I were good so I ain't gonna tell her nothing I'm mute okay so we have um, Quinn really like saying like maybe I don't know what she she was doing or what she was saying, but Rich ended up saying, "Well, um, you might need to stop because you reminded me of the sexual harassment videos that we watched, <laughs> and um, you're my boss, girl. You're my boss. Okay, you're my boss, bitch." So you need to chill for a minute before I sue your ass for sexual harassment. I was, well, she, he did not say that, but he was just like, you need to stop. And I was just like, and then you see Quinn looking like, oh, I mean, oh, wait a minute. Am I really? Ooh. <gasps> so, um, yeah, it's going to be hot and good. And um, I saw the preview and Quinn was just like, well, we need to stop flirting. And I was like, we? okay okay so you're acknowledging that you are you know you were flirting with a boy okay here's the crack here's the good crack anyways guys um tell me what you think of what's going on okay because i mean it's been a while since um i've talked to <laughs> to y'all or have made a video and i know i've been out for a week and i forgive me forgive me please um there's so many so many things going on to be honest but um anyways we're not gonna get into that so um i guess just rate comment and subscribe like me on facebook you know you know the drill soiree on rosé everywhere the website is soiree on and don't forget to just tell me what you think about the show now oh and oh wait um i also have um three videos coming up so three two or three whatever they're coming up you might get to see them tomorrow anyways watch out for that so bye guys